Hey guys, it's Christopher, and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Today I'm going to explain um, how to make doors. Doors that can um, be opened or closed, typically in dungeons like this. So, actually we will remove separators for this episode. Um, so far we only put some tiles here. So the door is always open, and um, actually there is no there is no actual door in the in the meaning of Solaris. Um, and by the way, th in the Learning to the Past dungeon dungeons, these tiles, this top of door tiles, are used for um, doors that are always open and these ones for doors that can be closed. So let's try to make a door here. And the sprite will be... So you have the choice in the resource pack between um, standard closed doors like this. So usually for the, one, the ones that can be only opened by some kind of puzzle. So it will be by a Lua script here. Doors um, that need that require a small key, doors that require the big key in a dungeon, and you can also do weak walls with um, door entities in Solaris. So for this first example, let's make a normal door, and the direction corresponds to the direction in a room. So this one will be left. So, we only set the sprite here, and then you have to choose uh, um, how the door can can open, can be opened. So, in this example, only by a Lua script, and you can also save the door somewhere, the door state. Okay. So there will be a second door here, like this. So of course, of course, we cannot traverse. There is nothing we can do here. And to open it, we will try to make a switch. And door A switch, because actually, we will call the door door A. Okay, so the door will be, as I was saying, it it's, will need a name um, because of the script. And since we have two connected doors here, they both need a name. And so I give it the same name. And uh, this suffix was automatically added by the, the quest editor. Okay, so let's see our script. And by the way, I'll call this door A because um, let's assume that you are making a dungeon map with a lot of rooms in the same floor. There will be probably several doors. So door A, door B, why not? Okay. Um, so, function door a switch on activated. And we need to open both doors at the same time. So, this is a very t common case. Common enough. Um, so there is a function actually in th in the map object open doors that open several that open several doors at once, and here you give the prefix. So all door entities whose name starts with door A will be opened, and we'll also play a sound. 
Um, door open. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, it works. So you can also... Mm, um, I mean, the other opening modes are for doors that can be opened interactively. So if you set by hero, then the hero will be able to open the door by pressing the action key. You can also do that and uh, with a condition. So allow the player to open the door, but only if, s if a special uh, save game variable exists and is not uh, zero. You can also set the condition to be an item. So this is probably more frequent. Here you will set an, a key. A key item probably. And you can also choose to keep the item unchanged or to remove it. So this can be used for keys and all including small keys uh, in dungeons, but we will be we'll make a tutorial specifically about small keys. And also by explosions. Um, this is for weak walls. The door will, will open if it collides with an explosion. Okay, so this one is by script. And now I will make a second example on this outside map. I want to do an outside door. So it will still be the this door and the action up. And um, by the way, I forgot to tell you that doors automatically take the the sprite of the door automatically take takes the the appropriate tile set because these are special sprites. I mean, not really special, but when you change the sp the tile set, the door automatically adapts itself, and it works because the sprite is actually not a specific PNG image, but it has a special source image, so not directly a PNG image, a particular PNG image, but the spe special sh source image tile set, which means which means that it it will be a tile set dependent sprite. So this is very useful for doors and um, blocks and a few other entities. But okay, let's try to make a door like this. So we want to close this door. And here we already have a problem. Let's call this door A. Opening mode by hero. So you will be able to open the door, but okay. But the problem is that you see uh, this these tiles below and actually it should be moved like this. Anyway, we, we want to hide the the open door tiles here as long as the door exists. So we can fix this with dynamic tiles. Boom. Let's make this dynamic. And actually this is also a very common case. So you could make a script that disable these tiles when the door opens but there is there is a rule to allow to do this without any programming actually any dynamic tile whose name starts with door A and finishes with either open or closed will automatically um, be enabled or disabled depending on the state of the door. So when the door is closed we want this to be enabled. So we we'll, we call this door A closed and same thing for the other one. So it's, it, it was named with underscore 2 
at the end, but it, it will still work. And that's it, you ha don't have anything to script here. Boom! And it works. And the only problem is that <laughs> the door is closed again. To fix this, just don't forget to save the door state in a variable. So, this chapter 31 or 32. <laughs> I think it's 32. Door. Okay. So, uh, this is it for uh, the basic usage of doors. Um, don't and we will we will um, make other tutorials specifically about um, weak walls and about small keys. But there w there will be there will be in the second playlist in the intermediate tutorial playlist because here I only wanted to cover the basics. Okay, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and see you next time. Bye.